Oh my gosh. The sun's still out, and it's time for Stream Brain Comics. Your weekly dose of funky dancing, new comics, and other things that are happening around the store. As we walk towards the front to show you proof that it really is. It's spring, folks. We got sun. We got fun. We got new comics. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Time for our weekly party. Such a good time. I'm going to follow Katie. <laughs> Come on down to the new comics. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Stream Brain Comics, where we give you a whirlwind tour of our store and show you all the new comics hitting the shelves Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Woo! Woo! We are your hosts. I'm Katie. And I'm Shay. And let's get ready to see some new comics. Yes! Uh, before we go into shop. that, let me say hello to Philip. Hey, Philip. Hey, Philip. Hello, Eddie. And hello, David. Hey, hey Eddie hey. and David. Hey. Woo! Yay! Without further ado, let's get to the comics, starting with. Assassin Nation, number one, and also Lane recommends. My word, my stars. <laughs> this is a pretty super all-star team in Assassination with Kyle Starks writing and Erica Hen Henrik Henderson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. From Unbeatable Squirrel Girl fame. Did yeah. Dan Lane pick this as his pick of the week? Yes. Mm, I think. Yeah, <gasps> maybe we picked somebody up something did. else. Actually. You know how. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. If not, this may be my pick of the week. I oh. love it. Pick <laughs> of Kyle Starks, Erica Henderson, go team those guys. Those guys. <laughs> Lots of hit people. Speaking of new, we got Blackbird issue <gasps> number six with a beautiful Tula Lote cover. And of course, oh. series artist Jen Bartel. So pretty. Beautiful. Love it. Aww, a new number one from Dark Horse, we have Calamity Kate. Ooh. Nice. With art by Corinne Howell. Uh, letters by Zach Sam. Oh, how about that? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. She looks like she's having all kinds of fun. Uh, this is the writer of Kim and Kim mm. and many other mm -hmm, fun... Mm -hmm. Wild books. Fun and wild. Fun and wild. Yay. It's a good time. Mm. We also have cover number six of six. It's the end of the series, but check out this really cool cover. Cover. Cover, <laughs> cover. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's, it's Jim Lee. Yeah, this is a Jim Lee variant. Wow. Isn't that cool? It even clearly calls him out James. in his human name, James. Oh, there's his employee ID. Huh. <laughs> That is so cool. He blew his cover. Yeah. And he did the <laughs> art, so I think it's pretty darn cool. <laughs> nice. Whoop. We have die number two, a third print, and a second print of number three. Wow, these are so beautiful. So nice. We've got all of die in stock now. Yay. We've even got some second printing of die number two. Also have a new number one, the goon. A new number one again, <laughs> by Eric Powell. We haven't had a new goon series on the shelf for quite a while. He's been off doing some other projects. Good to see it back. Is this Yay. all new material, all new story? All brand spanking new. Because awesome. they are celebrating 20th anniversary. Wow. I remember when they came out. Mm-hmm. Gunning for hits number three, music thriller. Look, it's that David Bowie guy. <laughs> also, Head <gasps> Lopper, number 11. See, this is the one I thought was going to be uh, Lane's pick of the and week. And the Knights of Venora. Oh, very unique number looking three. B cover. That is real cool. By Al Gofa. Awesome. Hit Girl, number two. Francesco Franz Francavia cover. Awesome. And <laughs> Amanda Connor. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that one. Eating some ice cream. Some ice cream with sprinkles. <laughs> Sam Man Universe House of Whispers, number seven. Oh, that's a big party. Uh, that is 
a cool party. With zombies. And an alligator. Oh, okay. okay. It. It's making sense now. <laughs> <laughs> James Bond origin number seven. It's Mardi Gras. This is in New Orleans. Yeah. Oh, right. That makes that sense. sense. <gasps> hey, we got LaGuardia number four. I read the previous issues, and they're pretty darn good. I like it. It's an interesting story for sure. It looks like this is the end of the miniseries. Four of four. Can't wait to see how it ends. <gasps> oh, you're looking for a mind-bending book? Lane suggests Little Bird, a new number one from Image. This is a pretty beautiful book. Lots of violence, though, so be careful. Ooh. Not for the kids. No kids. We also have Livewire, number four. That's a cool cover. Very cool cover. I think we got a B on yes, that as we well. Yes, do. Very nice. Ooh, yeah. I think Philip gave us uh, uh -oh. four... Four thumbs up? Four lightning bolts Ooh. for Livewire. Awesome. Stay nice. Down. Stay and remain. The Max, 100 pages. A special. Oh, that's a Is that just thing. a random 100... Random pages of the max? I think it's a. It Random, seems to be like, like a first, a first chapter, almost ah. like maybe the the first half of the first volume. A lot of book there. Mm, yeah. yeah, so much book for five dollars. Oh, we have Middle West, the third print of number two. Wow, I love Middle West. It's really good. Nice cover. And we got all of them in stock again. Hooray! Hooray. For now. A new Murder Falcon, number six. Murder Falcon. Ooh. Ooh, nice B cover. That's awesome. Nice Is that little tribute to Megadeth, Rust in Peace? Ah. Oh, you know what? I was looking at the art and not the um, logo font, and I would have ah. been able to identify the band, but not the yeah. album cover at least. What do we got ah, up here? We have Moonstruck Volume 2. I love Moonstruck. It's a super cute book. Moonstruck? I love Moonstruck. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's from the old Blockbuster Oh. <laughs> no one will get the reference nope. from me. Oh. Also, we have The Prisoner, Volume 2. Except for, is this, I was looking <laughs> at this. How is this Volume 2? Isn't this the reprint of the DC material? Yes, but this material takes place after the, vo the events of the first volume. Oh. Even though it this book came out, this material was produced... 20, 30 years ago. At least. I mean, I remember when it came out, but it's been at least 25 years. Back down, we have Oblivion Song, Chapter 2, by Robert Kirkman. Nice. And look, we have number 13 of Oblivion Song as well. Starting the next volume. Whoops. Picking up at the end of Volume 2. One of my personal favorites, Outer Darkness, number five this week. I love this book. It's so much fun. I love it. Oh, it's so good. And the art, Afu Chan, rocks. And it's been picking up attention, too. So if you're interested, make sure you get in here early. Or even better yet, add it to your subscription. Yay! But we have restocked all the previous issues. Oh, yeah. So you can catch up. Yeah. Mm, catch up. Prodigy, number four of six by Mark Miller. I think we got a B cover yes, on that do. by oh. Raphael Grandpa. Ooh. Nice. That's cool. Also have Rick and Morty presents a Jerry. Jerry. Oh, Go Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Oh, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> no one likes you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> we all feel the same way about Jerry. <laughs> Sleepless, <gasps> volume two. Oh, yay. yay. This was my favorite book of all of last year. That's awesome. Wow. It was pretty high, high ranking. That's great. It was so good. And it's volume one and two finishes the whole story. That's it. So beautiful. It's so good. Beauty. Speaking of high ranking, let's go up on the higher boop, shelf. Boop, boop. Speaking of Rick and Morty. Speaking of Jerry. That's... Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons trade paperback. Nice. That's the whole thing. The whole adventure. Somebody also really happy. wants to get a hold of it. <laughs> we have She Could Fly trade paperback. This is a sad book, isn't it? It's kind of sad, yeah. A little bit. A little sad. Just, just a little bit of sad. You know, I started reading it the first couple issues, and uh, I really enjoyed it, but lost track. Awesome. And back down, we have Spawn Kills Everyone to number four of four. Another classic spoof cover by Todd McFarlane. And this one spoofs other blank 
con sketch covers. Nice. All right. It's just a con sketch cover. <laughs> it's cool. Terry Moore, Strangers in Paradise, 25, maybe? <laughs> 25, yes. <laughs> Hide and Seek. <laughs> Also, Vampironica, book one. Nice. This was a fun vampire story. It is. Vindication, number two. We were missing this item last week, but we've got it back on the new shelf this week. Hooray! Ooh. And last but not least, we have Troy Nixie's Trout, Bits and Bobs. This is a beautiful book. It looks pretty good. Troy Nixie fans. All right. Yay. That wraps it up for the Action Adventure Shelf. We've got so much more in store for you folks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to the indie graphic novel rack here. Hooray, we got Mob Psycho 100 Volume 2. Mob Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goya, the terrible sublime. Hmm. I looked at it. It's pretty. Is it terrible and sublime? It Both. <gasps> This might also be my pick of the week. Just like Rube Goldberg. Just like him. The Incredible True Story. <clears throat> the Incredible True Story of the Man Behind the Machines. Nice. Last Fair Deal Gone Down. A Nick Travers graphic novel. Classic crime noir fiction. Hooray. <laughs> this is die cut cover. You can put your finger in there and feel this pinhead. <laughs> feel the pinhead. <laughs> Nobody's Fool, a biography by Bill Griffith, the life and times of Schlitzy the Pinhead. You know, Bill Griffith is more than a newspaper cartoonist what? who focuses on pinheads. He's also a graphic novelist. Oh. Who knew? Imagine huh. that. Interesting. <laughs> All right, that wraps up the indie graphic novels. Now we're going to transition over to the other side of the store. And tell you all about our upcoming events Yay. and special items that we received this week. Ooh, do we get the do we get the variants up? Uh, no. Uh, no. Oh boy. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you and Shay go over the new uh, brain activity? Oh. Oh. I'll grab the variant. All right. Well, coming up, which is exactly tomorrow. Exactly tomorrow. <laughs> From 5 to 7, we will be having Saladin Ahmed in the store signing for his book, Magnificent Miss Marvel, number one, that comes out this week. Hooray! Woo, it's like a spring hooray! Wow, I'm going to melt and die. Oh. <laughs> Brain candy. <laughs> Monday, March 18th. 7 to 9, that is a live poetry, art, and music. And check out those cool drawings over there. I like these music notes are cool. <laughs> so, and this episode of Brain Candy, we are going to be featuring a comic artist, um, Emily Zalesko. Oh, nice. Yay. Awesome. And then coming up on the 26th of March, Detective 1000 Midnight Release Party. Woo! That's in... <laughs> One week from, two weeks from tonight. Yay, and it's from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. So after our last couple of midnight releases last year, we decided that opening at, 11, we thought 11.30, you know, otherwise people would be bored. Everyone just came in and got in line. <laughs> and then had to still get their books. Yeah. So um, we wanted to make sure that everyone had time to shop for the uh, covers that they wanted, shop the store, mix and mingle, have some cake, before they had to hurry up and just rush and get in line. So we're opening even earlier then the other last two midnight releases at 11 p.m. And then we'll be open until 1 a.m. So we're extending the party. We're also going to have cake. Cake! Yay. You can have time to eat your cake. Woohoo. Have your cake and eat it too. And then coming up Saturday, well, that's quite, it's about a few weeks after that. Saturday, April 6th, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., we're having our Dearborn Art Gallery Rally. Yay! Woo. You can hop on a bus and go see a whole bunch of um, art gallery openings. Ours included. Yay! Yay. Awesome. Our it's gallery will be focusing on the art of James Johnson. The show will be called Really Dorky. <laughs> let me tell you something. It's really dorky. And James Johnson artwork is beautiful. So let's check out some variants here. Whoa! Oh, we got so many. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shredder, Shredder fell. Fell. Oh. This is number two variant. We got Buffy. Number three. 
variant. Nice. nice. Transformers. Number one. Freddie Williams. And then another and Transformers. Somebody number something one. variant. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Star Wars Age of Republic General Grievous. General Grievous. Who did the art on this Bellette? I wonder. Oh, Age oh. of Conan Belite. That is art by Aku Chan. I did <gasps> mention earlier that she works on Outer Darkness. Love this art. It's so cool. Awesome. That is nice. I like that cover. Ooh. Oh. I'm not sure who did this one either, but boy, this is pretty. Pretty. Nice. Ms. Marvel, or the magnificent Ms. Marvel. That's by Elisa, Elsa Charquier. Yeah. And then we got this other one. By Babs Tar. <gasps> Super Babs Tar cover. And then Amazing Spider Man number 17. Hunted. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Woo. So we didn't really get any other stuff this week. Stuff. I think we got the we got the Batman figure back in stock. Yay. So I'll take this second here to say hello to uh oh uh oh I got to back up here. Uh, say hello to John Miller who says Happy Tuesday. Hello John. And Frank, sorry, I'm pointing down. <laughs> and Frank <laughs> says a beautiful and bountiful day for new comics. Yay! Hello Green Break Crew. Thanks everybody for joining us. I see Amy Stegner's watching. Hey, Everybody's hello. having fun checking out the new comics. Yay! New and comics over on the DC rack. Have approached. We have the Batman Who Laughs, The Grim Knight, number one, the origin of the most dangerous Dark Knight of oh. all. Ooh, but is he more dangerous Very than cool Whoa. jock cover? That Very guy. Cool Del Auto cover. Yeah, that's pretty. It's a lot will, of guns. Yeah, I will say the interiors are even more beautiful with the the artwork of Eduardo Rizzo on the inside. Oh wow, nice. Nice. We also have a new Catwoman, number nine, never rob a thief. And look at this beautiful limited trade dress cover. Oh, oh it's so nice. Oh, Art germ, pretty. so pretty. Pretty. Art germ back at it again with the beautiful covers. <laughs> Ultimate character guide of DC, new edition. Updated and more hunky than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> the Flash, number 66, cut down by the Trickster. Oh, no. And check out this limited trade dress cover by Tim Sale. Yeah, Tim awesome. Sale fans, come and get your cover. Very cool. Get it quick, it's going to go fast. Ooh, just like The Flash. Yeah. Huh? 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 Hawkman, number 10, impact and three. Two. <laughs> One. Oh, and a <laughs> limited trade dress cover by Cully Hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Right. Justice League Dark. Oh. Number nine. Dragon, dun, dun, dun. The, the Demon Etrigan. No getting, more. Ooh. Blasted right through. A beautiful Clayton Crane cover. That looks like Clayton yep, Crane. Yep. Sure enough. Dang, Shay. I'm on it. It's almost like Shark. you work at a comic book store Woo. or something. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I didn't get that dance move. It's Aww. cool. <laughs> Red Hood Outlaw number 32. I don't know who did that cover. Mm. Huh. Mystery cover. Hmm. What's this guy? Oh, Shane Davis. Oh, nice. Cool. Scooby Apocalypse number 35. I know it. I don't want to get it wrong. That's all. Uh, Riley, Riley Rossmo. Rossmo. Dang. <laughs> you can guess it's fine. Ooh, Shazam, now a major motion picture, of course. The Golden Age of the World's Mightiest Mortal. It's a pretty cool art book with reproductions of classic covers Ooh. and lots of Captain Marvel merchandise picks. Pretty cool archive thing. Nice. Also, we have Supergirl number 28 with a beautiful Stanley <laughs> Art Germ cover. Pretty. So pretty. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> so beautiful. Superman Wrath of the Crime Syndicate number nine. And a Rob Liefeld cover. Oh. Classic <laughs> Rob Liefeld. Yeah. I like his hair. Doesn't he have any posters? It's all spiky. He's got five fingers. Hooray! <laughs> Titans number 35, a Raven's Rage. 
Hmm. And somebody? So, uh, Sandoval, maybe? Yeah, but it's not, maybe. not that Tony guy. It's some other person. Yeah. With that, His last, brother. With that last name. <laughs> what? Wonder Twins, number two. And check out this really cool LTV cover. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Villa Lobos, right? Yeah, Ramon Villa Lobos. It kind of looks like Border Town, is it? The same That's artist? The same it artist. is the same artist. Yes. So cool. I was thinking it was very much in the style of, uh, what's his nuts? Who did the All-Star Superman? Frank Quiet. Who's got a fake name? Yeah, yeah. they got... Quite frankly. They, they got things. They and got things. <laughs> we have Wonder Woman, number 66. This is what you get when you call Giganta for help with the LTD cover Ooh. by... Somebody. Something. Someone. Someone. VK. Yeah. Very pretty. Nice. It's foreign, I know that. Well. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Let's get that dance move again, Shay. Dance over there. Dance on over there. Let me go over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I feel su sufficiently introduced to the Marvel show. <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. So here we go with the Marvel book. <laughs> As Guardians of the Galaxy number seven. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. We got a second print of Avengers No Road Home number one. Oh, nice. Number one back in stock. Also number five of Avengers No Road Home because this book's coming out weekly. Bamalam, we get a new one every week. So let us know if you want it because if we sell out, we can get you another one. Let us know if you want them all, and we can subscribe you, and then you won't have to worry about missing a single one. Do it. The Defenders trade paperback, the best defense. Tony Stark, Iron Man, number nine. Whoa, he's it, it, smashing it, into yeah. something. Yeah, we, it took us a while to figure out what was going on in this cover, but once you figure out the details, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Here's his head. Yes, and then like yeah. his here. He's like upside down. It's he's flying through the air. This is car the... parts. All right, while well, well, oh, they're yeah, figuring yeah. that out, <laughs> we did get a comment saying that the audio is intermittent. Oh, so no! We'll make sure to enunciate correctly so you can hear everything all right sorry, sorry about folks that. Mm -hmm. conan the barbarian number three second printing and conan and age of conan belit yes with a beautiful sana takeda cover look at that holy moly so number one mm -hmm. new number one <gasps> And speaking of new number ones, burp, 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 burp. the magnificent Ms. Marvel, brand new, number one, new series, new issue, written by Saladin Ahmed, Detroit Dearborn native, coming back for our signing tomorrow, March 13th, from 5 to 7 p.m. Get your Ms. Marvel, get a sign here at Green Brain. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Old Man Quill, number three of 12. Shuri, number six. Was this a limited series? I think it's ongoing, at least for now. Hmm, okay, because the other spinoff. Um... It's Shuri and Miles Morales. She goes to Brooklyn. That's awesome. Aww. Spider-Gwen, ghost spider. Go. <laughs> number six. Amazing Spider-Man number 17, Hunted. Part one. It's officially the Hunted. I think you got a B cover on He's that so one. Haunted. Oh. Not haunted. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Spider Man villains cover. Oh, nice. This is the only one we got because it's all Spider Man villains. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> what do we got up here? Domino, Volume 2 Trade Paperback. Soldier of Fortune. Fantastic Four Trade Paperback. Heroes Return. The Complete Collection. Heroes Return from like. The early aughts? Is yeah. that when that came out? This is a follow-up to Heroes Reborn? Yeah. Yeah. Marvel Action Spider-Man number two. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. Oops. Yeah, that was me. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 42. I like how Henderson has three exclamation points. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but... She's been off the book for a while. Maybe uh, Erica came back to do a 
a page or two. Oh, cool. Oh, it does say celebrating 50 issues of Unmutable Squirrel Girl, even though technically this is issue 42. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> this must be counting all the earlier series issues. Yep. For legacy numbering. Yay. Marvel Tales featuring Thor, number one. Beautiful. Jim Bartel cover. It is beautiful. What is what's about what's what's up with this? <laughs> well, the, these Marvel Tales are all reprints oh, from various here we go. eras throughout Thor's history. Wonderful. So it's got four issues in one reprint book. Important stuff. Cool. Did we get this second print of Immortal Hulk number thirteen? Not yet. Hey, it's the second print of Immortal Hulk number thirteen. How about that? He's all. Yeah. Stretched out. And yeah, look, like he's got like weird eyebrow and. This has spit. been a fun book. <laughs> fun, fun book. Winter Soldier, four of five. Wolverine, The Long Night, three of five. X23, number 10. X Force, number four. And Apocalypse and the Extracts. Extracts? Is that what that says? Yeah. Uh, yep. And you know, Age of X, man. This is a pretty psychedelic looking on the cover here. Super 70s. Marvelous X-Men number two of five. And up on the top shelf. Punisher number nine. What's going on? Oh, that's reflection. what's going Uh-oh. on. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> and wrapping up the Marvel shelf... Dead Man Logan, number five of 12. Skeletons. Beautiful. Yes. It also has Henderson on there, but it's Mike Henderson. Oh. <laughs> Moving on down to our Star Wars YA shelf. We have General Grievous, as mentioned earlier, number one. Ooh, let's see that B cover. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I was. Complexion, complexion issues there. <laughs> General Grievous, is that like major bummer? Star Wars Imperial Cadet Han Solo. Of course, number five of five. The end of the series. And on our YA shelf, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, number three. Ooh, got a couple different covers. Oh, yes, here we go. We Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 A couple more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. And oh. Oh, that's a lot of covers. Rupert Giles. There was more. <laughs> we didn't need them. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, it's by Night Volume 1. I've been reading this, and it's pretty cool. I like it. It is by John Allison of Giant Days fame. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Riverdale, new number one, season three. What? <laughs> that Riverdale just keeps keeps cranking out. It's all good. Oh, they're untold comic stories from the hit TV series. Star Trek Discovery, Captain Saru, one shot. That's a busy cover. I need to really zoom in on that. Oh, yeah. It's hard to read that logo. It's pretty. Oh, and as mentioned earlier, TMNT, Shroud and Hell, number two, and a second print of number one. Hooray. Cool. A boat new era of Transformers, number one. If you're a Transformers fan that's lapsed out of the last story that took 15 years to finish, here's your chance to come in and get a new energy, a new charge, a new era of Transformers. Yay! All new, all different. All new creative team. <laughs> oh. It's oh. happening. Is that a kid robot? <laughs> sure. Kid robot. <laughs> WWE then, now, forever, volume three. Look at that oh, I know who all those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> On that cover. Classics. <laughs> yeah. Socko. That's who that is. Socko. <laughs> Over here on the uh, young adult action, Rise of the Zelfire. Zelfire, sure. Uh, Zelfire? Yeah. Zelfire? Makes sense to me. Book one yeah, of Bark and Sap. Hmm. That's what I make so proud of. And on this side. <laughs> Kiss, number eight. I'm actually really interested in checking out this book because it looks really cool. <laughs> Plus it's by Colleen A.F. <laughs> Venable. She's been using that name since is that the before same? A.F. was a thing. I don't know. That might be 
It might mean something completely different for this young lady. Oh. Action Person. figure. Yeah. Human. It means action figure. Action figure. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these cool things. Sure. Um, they're Gamanyan tails. Gamanyan? Sure. Gamanyan? Sure. Gamanyan. The water spirit and the king of birds. These are really pretty. Nice spot pretty. varnish on the cover. Pretty on the inside, too. Ooh, we got a sneak peek at one of these at the Comics Pro, and it was really nice. Awesome. Ooh, Ooh and the follow-up to what we got in last week, the um, soft cover of Nightlights, is the new Hicko Tea, a Nightlights story. Ah, I can't wait to check it out. So beautiful. This one is in hardcover, but it does also have that spot varnish, that spot highlight. Mm -hmm. Spot gloss, that's what it's called. Spot gloss. Spot Very gloss nice. on it is so pretty. Here's the first one, also pretty. <laughs> and Radio Deli. Delay? Radio Delay. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. that's it makes more sense when you say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's from our pals over at IDW. Oh. How about that? And wrapping up the tour, let's take a look at the All Ages Shelf. We have Rocco's Modern Life Volume 2, as well as a new one-shot, maybe? Uh, Fusion Frenzy, Steven Universe. I love Steven Universe so very much. Look it's at the so Connector's good. AB Ooh. covers. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, that's so cool. Oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is full. <laughs> And we've got two more things on the shelf. We have Peanuts, Lucy, Speak Out, and Disney Zootopia, Family Night, a graphic novel for younger readers. Aww. Yay. We got something for everybody, something, something for the whole family at Green Brain Comics. We'd like to thank you so much for tuning in tonight. <laughs> Don't run in the shelf. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank <Once> you. Again. <laughs> Thanks again for everybody for joining us on Stream Brain Comics. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday night at 6.30 as we stream live. Mm -hmm. But if you aren't around on Tuesday nights, you can catch all of our episodes, episodes? episodes. <laughs> <laughs> um, archived on Facebook, but also on YouTube. And of course, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that we stay in your feed and you never miss an episode. Woo! Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram as Green Brain Comics. On Twitter, though, we are Green Brain CMX. And we are always spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels since 1985 from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn. Feed your brain! Feed your brain! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. <laughs> See you tomorrow.